Yeah, good morning, folks. Oh, do you look at the time? Three o'clock. Ten past three in the morning. And I'm sitting here. Uh, I'm looking at my Samsung. Samsung Galaxy uh, phone and talking into it. Bloody amazing, this technology, isn't it? Hey, listen. Did you listen to my video I put on yesterday? I put a video on yesterday, How to Be Happy All the Time. Did you read that? Did you look at that? Yeah, I had a look at the stats about lunchtime. I put it on, oh, I don't know, early in the morning. It was on there before you got out of bed anyway. Um, but by lunchtime, only 15 people had read it. And then I'm, I'm sitting here doing videos and no buggers looking at them, you know. And you go onto YouTube and there's thousands of people looking at rubbish. God, I might. I'm trying to make people laugh in the world. No buggers laugh. Pretty serious, most of the people, aren't they? You walk down the street, no bugger smiles at you. Nah. Oh, I've got a few stories to tell. i got a new hat on. Oh, put this hat on because Murray cut my hair the other day. You know Murray Gibson, don't you? He lives in Timaru. he got a barber shop there. He's retiring in 15 months. But anyway, there's another story. Offered me 50, You offered me three haircuts. I was going to put him on here and advertise him worldwide, his shop. And you know what he offered me? 45 bucks, and he charges $15 for a haircut. Three bloody haircuts, and he wanted me to advertise him uh, for 15 bucks, $45. Right, now, this hat. I must tell you about this hat. There's a big story to this hat. You see, I've got a son called Michael. Well, most of us call him Mick, you know. And Michael is always a Mick, isn't he? Eh? Uh, and he's got a, he got, a, he got a brother called Gus. And uh, but they, used to, they used, used to live in a place called Alexandra down in Central Otago. You see, and I, I was, I'm a North Islander, I come from the North Island. And I went down on a holiday, working on holiday, I was a shearing sheep at the time. And, and I went down to uh, Alexandra and I, and I met this chick, you see, blonde chick, nice looking chick called Margaret. And anyway, she had a couple of kids. And cut a long story short, I finished up marrying her. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I still got these two kids, you see. And uh, we've been married bloody near fifty years. And anyway, so um, Michael is one of the boys, and he calls me dad because he he thinks I'm he thinks I'm his dad. He even though I'm not, he treats me as his dad. He loves me to bits. Uh, and anyway, he, he he makes a lot of money. He was in Australia making a hoo of a lot of money. And he, and we used to go over there, and he'd say to us, "Listen, we're going a balloon ride today." We're going to, going to go up on a balloon. What is it called? Balloon Aloft Australia. I'm taking you up on a balloon. So away we go out to this bloody balloon. Had to get up early in the morning. And we had to we had to fill a thing over there ourselves. We had to do all the work. Unpack it. And away we went up. And I hate heights, eh? Jeez. I was trembling. I was, I, was, I was in the basket. I was wanting to sit on the floor. I didn't want to look out. Oh, God. But anyway... Uh, 350 bucks, I think he paid. We shared this all. We had, but we had breakfast there and everything. Uh, yeah, so um, that's Michael. And listen, I've I got a few more things to tell you. I'll just have a bit of a breather now. I've got to blow my nose, okay? Wait a minute. Uh, listen, I'm back again. I put another hat on. <coughs> yeah. Uh, because I've been telling you all about other people all the time, and I thought today uh, I might just tell you a bit about myself. So you know who I am? I'm a world record holder, you know. Oh, shit, yeah. I'm a bloody good indoor rower. I remember years ago, um, my auntie, one of Mar Margaret's aunties, said to me, when's it due? She was looking at my belly, of course. And I thought, Jesus, it is getting big too. I couldn't see my shoes. So anyway, I went to the gym and I started uh, on this indoor rowing machine, you see. And I was bloody good. And I went to Dunedin in, in, when is it? 1996. And I got on this rowing machine in a competition. And I rowed fast as I could for 100 metres. And I got a gold medal. Here it is here. <laughs> Look, a gold medal. First gold medal I ever won in my life. But now I've got a bloody shed full of them. Because I kept going, I went for about 10 years, 9 or 10 years, to Masters Games events, and I kept winning all these medals. 
that's why I got the hat on because in Dunedin, uh, it was about that time when the uh, Olympic Games, was it the Olympic Games or Commonwealth Games or something, uh, and all, every, all the uh, competitors had these straw hats, you see, and, and so I had to get a straw hat. So uh, when I won the gold medal, I walked down the street in, in Dunedin waving like that, see, waving to the crowd. That's what they do, don't they? When they, when, when they uh, those athletes, they wave to the crowd like the Queen does, you know, giddy. So that's, that's how I got the hat. Now, um, what do you want me to talk about now? Oh, it's a party coming up. That's right. I, I, I got an invitation to a party. I wonder if you were to come. I'll just read the invitation out to you, shall I? Uh, the red carpet event. Wait on, I'm finding my glasses. Where the bloody hell are my glasses? Just a minute, I've got to go and find my glasses. Found my glasses. Jesus, that's another story. Bloody glasses, I can never find the things. But anyway, uh, I was going to tell you about this invitation I got. It's called Red Carpet Event. If you are if you are or have previously been a member of the fitness studio, then you are invited to a farewell party. Where is it? It's at the SBS Lounge. It's on Saturday the 2nd of February at 7pm and onwards. Bring your own drinks. Please bring a plate. Dress up red carpet style. An RSVP by a phone number or Hannah at the Timaru District Council. Now, what's that all about? Well, we've got a Timaru District Council here who decided one day, some silly bugger decided they wanted a new swimming pool. So they spent $23,500 million, no, $23 million on a swimming pool for, for, for the, for the um, rate payers. And the, and half the rate payers, very few rate payers ever swim in the thing. But anyway, it's 23 and a half pool. And they had a, they used to have a, a gym at the, we've got another big stadium up the road. I'll, sh I'll go and show it to you later. Because uh, I'm going around and see them. Uh, uh, and they had a gym in there, you see. But there's a, there's a mayor here in Timaru called Janie Anir. And she used to go to the gym there. And, um, but she, do, she doesn't go there anymore. She goes to the new one. Because they put a new gym in with the swimming pool, you see. So you've got a big flash gym. And twenty three and a half million. It's not not a, you know it's pretty good, uh, and, and a gym and a cafe and all that. So what this party is for is the closing down of the old gym that the council owns, right? They're closing it down because it took all the members to put in this flash one. You see, and I'm going around there this morning and I'm going to talk to these people uh, because I I rang that phone number the other day and I couldn't get a reply. There's no one there. I, I, I sent an email. Uh, and it came back, uh, no address. You know, I said, to the Dimmer District Council, care of the Dimmer District, but no address, you see, come back. Uh, but I did get hold of Hannah, that, that, that organised the thing, and I had a yarn to her. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's, <laughs> that's a bit about the gold medals, you see. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an indoor rower, but a bloody good one too. I've got quite a few New Zealand records and a, and a world record. I've got a certificate here, I broke a world record once and I've, I've got the certificate. I couldn't find it this morning. It's around here somewhere. Um, and I'm not one to skite, you know. I, I don't want to bloody blow... I'm not a bloody Muhammad Ali. I oh, know. I, I don't go around saying I'm the best, but I'm pretty bloody good. All the same. Don't you worry about that. Get me on an indoor rowing machine and look out. Mind you, it's a few years ago. I was only 63 then when I broke that world record. <coughs> now, I'm, now I'm 72. Uh, I went to get on one the other day. I was at this show, you see, and I went to get on one. And I said, do you mind if I have a little pull? I haven't paid any money, but can I have a little pull? He said, yeah, help yourself. So I got on, the bloody strap was broken. And I said to him, no, it's no good. Yeah, yeah, your strap on the foot's broken. I, I can't row without a bloody strap. And anyway, I told him I'd come back today and have a bit of a row. Hey, listen, i got to go. I can't talk here too much. I'm going to come on most mornings. You, you Tune in to me, Ronnie's blog. Now, here's the address. Ronnie's blog, oh no, first of all you've got to go type in www.timaroodirectory.co.nz Can you remember that? www.timaru, T-I-M-A-R-U, directory, D-I-R-E-C-T-O-R-Y, dot, co, dot, nz. Got it? Don't go on to YouTube, I've got a, oh, 
120 odd videos on there, but you'll, you'll never find me unless you type in Ron E. Bishop, Timaru, New Zealand, and you'll see all my videos. But if you just want to see the one each morning, when you get up in, in the morning and want a bit of a lift, um, go on to Ronnie's blog. So when you get to the Timaru directly, just hit Ronnie's blog. Okay? So listen, i got to go. Uh, i got to get Mum a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.